Hi folks, welcome to Lush One Training Module 201. What I'm going to do today is to introduce the new module to the Lush One. This is the Lush One Contour module and we've got it cased up here with a classic Lush One. So this is the Lush One base and this is the extra module, the Lush One Contour. What the Lush One Contour provides is a range of extra facilities which provide much richer um, and more complicated sounds coming out of the Lush One. So I'll just talk you through very quickly what the main elements on the Lush One Contour are. Starting out on the left here we have um, a control voltage generator which is an attack decay sustain release or ADSR envelope generator. And we're going to talk about what ADSR envelopes are later on in this in this module. Um, but for now think of it as a way of creating creating a control voltage which reflects the kind of natural sound of a note. On the top we have a second LFO, a low frequency oscillator. So if you remember the base module has one low frequency oscillator in it already. Um, this is providing an extra low frequency oscillator for more complicated sounds. And next to that we have two connectors where we can break out the two millimeter banana plugs used in the Lush One to uh, RCA phono connectors uh, make it easier to bring signals in and out the Lush One. Finally at the bottom here we've got two uh, effects modules um, which take control voltages and combine them together. And both of these are kind of pretty powerful, interesting things. The first one we have is a voltage controlled amplifier or VCA, which uh, basically changes the amplitude of one signal based on another. And we're going to use this in two ways. We're going to use it as a way of changing the sound of a signal, and we're going to use it as a way of multiplying control voltages together. And the last component we have is a ring modulator. And this is another way of doing a kind of multiplication between two signals. Um, but uh, the ring modulator has a kind of side multiplication which creates uh, a sound that's rich in harmonics and very distinctive. Um, and ring modulation is a classic sound from a lot of synthesizers, um, probably most famously used to create the voice of the Daleks in Doctor Who. So those are the four, the four elements. Um, or well, the main elements we've got here, um, got two units for creating control voltages and two units for, for modifying sounds based on control voltages. And of course these can be combined together with the capabilities that we already have inside the Lush One. Um, so I'm going to start by focusing on the ADSR envelope control and talk about what that does and then give a simple demo uh, to wrap this, wrap this module up today. Right, I'm going to talk about the ADSR envelope and start off with we need to kind of get a general idea of what an ADSR attack decay sustain release envelope means. And what it basically reflects is the idea that when you play a note on just about any instrument you have some effect when the note is struck followed by some effect caused by holding the note followed by some final effect when the note is released. And this is traditionally modelled on synthesizers in four stages called attack, decay, sustain and release. The attack and decay are the first two stages and basically relate to what happens when the note is struck. So if we think about particularly the volume of a note, then when it's struck it probably rises quickly depending on the instrument. Um, then there will be some kind of decay in the sound immediately after the initial striking. And assuming the note is held, that's then followed by a period when the volume stays more or less the same. And this is the sustain period. And lastly, the note is released, leading to the release period. And what we have in the Lush One is an ADSR module which provides that kind of shape based on a trigger input. So here's the controls for the ADSR. Um, the input is on the left hand side here and takes a 5 volt signal and typically the thing you're going to connect that to is the MIDI gate out from the Lush One because that's the thing that provides the right signal when you press a note on a MIDI keyboard. But if you want to have uh, a synthesizer that doesn't use a, a traditional keyboard then you can provide any uh, 5 volt high, 0 volt low signal into that input. 
Um, the output is on the bottom right and essentially has the shape of ADSR as we see here and we have the four controls which control the four elements. Now one thing to note is that the attack, the decay and the release all control the slope of these elements so the more attack you have the steeper the note rises and similarly the more decay you have the steeper the note falls and the sustain is different from the other three controls in as much as it controls the level of the, of the sustain rather than the slope the sustain part is always flat so what happens when you strike a note is you'll get an attack phase controlled by the the steepness of which is controlled by the level of the attack control when it reaches a maximum output which is 5 volts it'll then enter a decay phase the steepness of which is controlled by the decay control and when that decay reaches the level set by the sustain control it will stay more or less flat until the note is released and then you get a decay set by the release control and this is more or less a re-triggering mechanism so if you strike if you strike a note while the release is still happening then in fact it will go quickly back to zero before starting the, the attack phase again. Well I thought it might be useful to take a look at the uh, attack decay sustain release on my scope before we made some sounds. Uh, it's rather noisy scope so I apologize if you can hear a fan buzzing in the background. Uh, so what we've got here top line is going to show the trigger input which will go high when a note's held down and the bottom line is the output of the attack decay sustain release. So let's just play a note and watch it do something. So here's the note. You see the attack build and then the decay starts and now we're at the sustain level and when I release the note we drop off back to zero again. So let's watch that again. Note goes down and attack then decay now sustain and then release. And if we turn the attack up, for example, you see the attack phase is much faster. Similarly, if we turn the decay right up, you'll see you can get very fast decay as well. And we can turn release up and release very quickly too. Well, folks, now we get to the fun bit and we actually get to make some noise. What we've done here is we've patched up a lush one in the in the same way as is shown on the slides. Uh, so just to recap what's going on here, we've got a lush one base at the top and a contour module at the bottom. We've patched the MIDI gate out of the base into the ADSR trigger input on the contour and we've taken the ADSR output into a control voltage on the filter. Uh, we've also patched in an LFO, the main LFO, into the other control voltage of the filter but for now we've just turned that gain down to zero so we're not going to hear that initially and of course we've patched the main oscillator output into the input of the filter um, at the minute we've got everything here on the ADSR turned down to zero apart from the release that we've turned up to maximum so let's play some notes and see how that sounds <laughs> So you can hear there the filter cutoff slowly going up as we go through the attack phase and then slowly decaying as we go through the, the decay phase. And that's quite a, not a bad sound. We can fiddle around with the attack. Let's just turn the attack up and hear how that sounds. And we can turn the decay up as well. And we can fiddle around with the sustain level. So you can see just with the the ADSR controls and the filter controls we can create quite a range of sounds. Uh, this is really a replacement for the much simpler uh, sound we got by using the LFO in once mode in, in the first module of the training. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in some 
of the LFO by turning up the gain control here and let's just hear how the uh, the two things sound together Oop, bring you a bit of a bit too much resonance in there let's just turn that down a, a fraction <laughs> Well, you can hear the LFO uh, oscillation overlaid on the attack and decay there. I'm just going to fiddle around a bit, see what kind of range of sounds we can get out of it. Well, there you go. Pretty good, I think. Uh, so next time we're going to talk about talk about some more uses for ADSR. Um, probably the more classical use of this kind of thing is is controlling the note dynamics. So we'll we'll give some demos on how we can do that using the ADSR and the VCA. Until then, have fun. Cheers. <laughs>